Is the weapon banner worth it for free to play? Long story short, no. Short story long, well, that's the purpose of this video. So there's two ways, or rather three ways to actually get weapons in Honkai Star Rail. But before we actually do jump into the three ways you can get them, let's kind of explain what these actually really are. Let's break it down. So the weapons or light cones in this game, they call it, is literally artifacts from Epic 7. So if you played E7, another mobile turn-based gotcha game, you are familiar with the artifacts in that game. What you do is you get an artifact, which is kind of like a slot weapon for each character, and then it gives stats. Out of stats, you can see here we have HP, attack, and defense. These are all flat stats. And then you get a passive of the weapon to go along with the extra stats. And a lot of the time is the artifact in Epic 7, or the weapon in this game, will give you a certain kind of damage bonus, or it might give you just straight up stats altogether. Like here you see Seal's light code gives her 12% crit rate, and then she also gets skill damage increase and basic attack damage increase whenever she has more speed over 100. And it is added onto the actual crit damage of her ult, so it's just added effects on top of the actual stats you get for equipping the weapon. As you should know, while well, each weapon gives kind of different stats comparative to other weapons, so like a weapon for a healer, for instance, if you look at Natasha's weapon, it gives her more HP than anything else. Well, because she scales with HP, while Seal's weapon gives her more attack than anything because, well, she scales well with attack. Now, granted, it might seem like that the actual HP is higher than attack, but when you level up the light cone or the weapon for Seal, then you will get way more attack than anything else because the character scales much better with attack. And it is also something to note is that five star weapons have more stats than four star weapons. So you can see here that the actual base stats are lower than Seal's five star weapon. Now you can see on the screen here, I actually do have a picture of Amelia's artifact from Epic 7, the game I mentioned in the beginning of the video. In this game, they have weapons for each character. You can slot onto the character and you can see here you get some stats with the weapon. And then you also get a password to go along with the stats. So you can see here, there is the passive for the Amelia's artifact, which is a character in that game. She's a limited and you get effect resistance, which is a stat in Honkai Star Rail as well. And what this does is it increases the chance or the resistance you have against debuffs from the enemy. And then you also get a healing passive that goes along whenever you get hit, when you have more than you have less than 50% HP after being hit and each weapon in or artifact rather in e7 has different bonus effects alongside different stats so if we take a look at rem's artifact from epic 7 you can see here that there is different stats so this weapon has more attack than hp versus the weapon that or artifact amelia had which had more hp than attack and that's because rem is a dps unit while amelia is a healing unit and then you can see here that there actually is an increased crit chance whenever you equip this on the character and you also get a combat readiness which in you know in honkai star rail that is an action bar or action forward and you get that increase whenever someone dies either your ally or the enemy's ally just like honkai star rail you also have exclusive exclusivity in the artifacts or weapons rather so you know in honkai star rail if you have seals weapon you cannot equip seals weapon on a character like natasha for instance because they are two separate classes. E7 is no different. You can't equip Rem's artifact on, let's say, Amelia, because there are two separate classes. One is a healer class, and then the other is a warrior or DPS class. So that's kind of the best way to actually describe how the weapons in this game work. Den Heng's best in slot weapon on my Den Heng right now, but you could use this on Seal because Seal is also part of the hunt class. So like I said before, Every character is in a specific class on Honkai Storyo, and as long as you're in that class, you can slot the weapon of that class on that character. So I can use Den Hang's artifact or weapon on Seal, and this will give Seal an attack increase by 24%, which is a pretty massive amount. You get the added stats along with it. You'll probably have more attack than anything else because Den Hang is also an attack skilling. Just think about it like this. The hunt mostly benefits from having higher attack than other stats, so you're going to be looking at getting mostly DPS out of your actual weapon. And then you have a crit rate increase whenever there's two or fewer enemies on the field. This is really crucial for single target DPS, which is what all the characters in the hunt class are all about. Single target DPS. So this makes a very nice 
free to play option for seal because you get the crit rate and you get the attack increase whenever you pretty much use her in the you know you probably should use her against bosses right let's just say that so you'll always have the crit rate increase you also have the attack increase and then the bonus stats to go along with it and then we have a three star weapon which also gives crit rate so this will be a super duper free to play option let's just say you're unlucky you don't get dang hang's best in slot weapon and you want to use that on a seal but you can't so you get this three star weapon and it gives you just crit rate which is not bad if you don't have anything else but you don't get as much stats you can see here the stats are way lower and you just get something that goes away in three turns so it's not that good now there's three ways to actually obtain weapons first of all is the actual light cone event banner so you go on this one, you get the limited light cone, which is a 75% chance to get this. So if you lose a 75-25, let's just say you lose a, the 75% and then you get a 5-star weapon for a character you didn't want, then you have a guarantee on the next pity. So then you would get Seal's best in slot or whatever character's best in slot weapon on the actual next pity. And this pity does transfer between banners. So let's just say I lose my 75-25 on this banner and I want to get kafka's best in slot weapon well i will still have my guarantee whenever i go on the actual weapon banner so that will transfer indefinitely now the other way to obtain weapons is actually on the star of warp banner and you can obtain pretty much every standard character's weapon you can see here there is you know himiko's branya's and clara's and then there also is jetpar you know well bailu yang ching and uh, i think that's all the characters right did i forget one no, I did not. That's all the characters you can obtain in this banner and their weapons along with it. However, that is a 50% chance whenever you go to pity. And since there are seven characters with seven different light cones, you have a one in seven chance after a 50-50 on whether or not you get one of the, you know, whoever's light cone you want to obtain. So let's just say I want Branyas, for instance. Well, I have a 50-50 when I hit the pity. And then I have a seven, one in seven chance to actually get Branya's weapon. And the final way to actually obtain the weapons, which is very nice from Hoyo, is that you can actually get it in the shop. And you can see here that there is all seven light cones for the standard banner characters. And each one also have, you know, you only can obtain it one time, which kind of sucks, but at least we have the option here. So you can save up eventually to get the light cone, because let's be honest, your chances of obtaining, you know, let's just say the light cone for the character you want it the most for, for instance, let's just say Bailu, well, I mean, you probably won't ever get it on the actual banner. And this is cracked. You get 12% where is max HP increase, which is very good for a healer that skills on HP. You get outgoing healing increase by 12%, which is also pretty good. And then when the hero, the wearer, heals allies record the amount of healing. When any ally launches attack, ram attack, enemy takes additional damage equal to 50% outgoing healing value that's massive so let's just uh, you know i'm not going to throw numbers out there but let's just say maybe 5,000 healing right and then you get like a 2,500 additional damage increase which is pretty nasty it is one time per turn but it's really 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 good so to answer the question i asked in the beginning of the video is the weapon banner good for free to play so we have to take everything into consideration the ways to actually obtain the weapons in the game the fact that there is an actual guarantee after you lose your 75 25 a actual 75 percent chance to obtain the weapon on the actual pity the pity being a you know 65 and then an 80 guarantee 65 for soft pity so you probably get the weapon around 70 pulls into the banner the fact that you can obtain certain weapons in the actual or light cones rather in the actual shop and that they're on the standard banner so if you lose your 25 or your 75 percent chance and you get the 25 and you end up getting a weapon from the standard banner, then you're probably going to be disappointed. And the honest truth of the matter is that we don't get too much currency in Honkai Star Rail overall for rolling on the banners. So you're probably going to save most of your gem, Primo Gem, Stellar Jade currency for the limited character on the banner. So I cannot recommend the weapon banners for free to play because there is honestly very good free to play alternatives. As I said, Den Hang's best in slot weapon is really good for seal. I mean, you get the crit rate increase and you get the attack increase, and then you also have very nice base stats and it's very easy to actually go ahead and, you know, refine. 
You can get this from world boss drops, which is pretty good, or weekly boss rather, if you play Genshin Impact. So you'll probably be summoning on the limited character banners and getting your five star characters instead of ever going on the weapon banners, which is A-OK, -okay because I think that's what every free play player should do, unless you're feeling absolute lucky, or maybe your favorite character is Kafka and you just need to have her weapon. That I could understand. I was going to do the video here. I hope you all got something out of this. If you have any questions, of course, let me know in the comments section down below. I don't know why this video was so fun to make, but it just was. Anyways, that's it. Have a nice rest of your weekend. Peace.